Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Draven Academy, and in today's video we're going to be discussing something that's extremely important to your safety and extremely important when you take your CDL road test. Today we're going to be talking about how often should you be looking at your mirrors, and specifically when should you look at your mirrors when you're making either right turns or left turns in the tractor trailer. So if you've never driven a tractor trailer before, the biggest difference between driving a truck uh, and a car itself is that trailer that's behind you. As a truck driver, you are going to get paid to transport whatever is in that trailer behind you, which means that that trailer is the most important part of your vehicle. The biggest these trailers get would be 53 feet, which means you're driving and you have something 53 feet away from you that you still have to be uh, responsible for and make sure you're taken care of. The first thing of being responsible means that you have to keep an eye on it and you have to check it out. So. During the CDL road test, we're going to be grading you on many different portions, right? So the road test itself is going to be split into three different parts. First part of the test is all about inspecting the truck. They're going to have to know how to inspect both the inside and outside of the vehicle. Second part of the test is all about parking the truck six different ways. And then the third part of the test is actually driving the truck on the road itself. So that being said, let's talk about the actual road driving portion itself. So how many times you look at the mirror is actually a grade on when you are taking the test. The examiner giving you the test is going to make sure that you are operating this vehicle safely and that means part of doing that you're going to have to make sure you're checking out your mirrors the right amount of times. As you're driving in a straight line you should be looking anywhere from six to ten every six to ten seconds which means your head should always kind of be rotating. So if you've ever you've been to like a public pool or maybe went to a lazy river or some kind of water park you kind of seen those lifeguards that kind of bobbing their heads all day long and their heads, heads are always on a swivel, that's pretty much what you have to be as a truck driver. If you're just looking forward, that can be scary because like I said, you have the most important part of your vehicle, which is behind you, and you definitely have to check out behind you. A lot of new drivers, they completely forget this just because they've been driving a car for so many years, which means they're not even looking at their mirrors in the car, so why should they look at their mirrors in a tractor trailer? And that's what truly gets people in trouble. So let's break down exactly how many times you should look at your mirror, specifically when you're making turns. So the simple number is three. So you're coming in to make a right turn or a left turn. First, you're going to have to make the proper turn. What does that mean? So if you look at this diagram here, it shows you that the proper turn would mean go straight after the center of the intersection and then you start to make your turn, whether that's to the right or to the left. That's going to make sure that your tra your trailer behind you has enough room to pass over that curb because during the road test itself if you run over the curb what do you think is going to happen eh, automatic fail so now that you know exactly how to do the proper turn you should know what you should be looking at so like i said you've got to check out the mirror three different times first time you check out the mirror is before the turn you want to make sure that your trailer is inside your lane sometimes before people start making their turns they either get into one lane or the other and that's not good. You want to make sure your whole tractor trailer is inside the lane that you're supposed to be in, not hugging or crossing over any lines. And then from there, you're going to pull up straight. You're going to cross over that center of the intersection. And then as you start turning, I want you to constantly be looking where you're going and scanning back at that mirror to make sure you're checking out that trailer the entire time. I want you to check out that trailer all the time because the back wheels of those trailers, if you're making a left turn, you can hit a car. If you're making a right turn, you can hit a curb. And if you're not looking at it, that means that a, an accident can happen and you would not even know about it. That being said, as you're going through that entire turn, make sure you, okay, check the front, check the mirror, check the front, check the mirror, just in case you have to come to a complete stop or in case of an emergency for whatever reason, you can see it before the accident actually happens. And then the third part is when you actually complete the turn, and your whole vehicle is straight itself, I want you to look behind you, make sure that your the whole vehicle is in within the proper lane there. So if you follow those three steps on how to make your proper turning, when you're making sure that you're checking out the mirrors every step of the way, then there's going to be no reason why you can't pass your CDL road test and why you can't be a safe driver. I hope this video helped you out. I hope this kind of gave you the intellectual um, reasoning behind how to make proper turns as a tractor trailer. Many accidents have happened on the road there and I'm sure you have seen different tractor trailers running over curbs in your normal car. But we want to make sure that we produce the safest drivers in the road because one, it's important for you, it's important for us and our family who are sharing the road with you. It's also important to make more money because the only way you can make more money in this industry 
It's keeping your license nice and clean for an, an extended period of time. That being said, you have to make sure that you're providing safe driving habits and we're gonna start you off here at Driving Academy with those habits itself. So first we can get you ready to pass a road test and then get you ready to go on and show how good of a job that we did teaching you being a safe driver out there in the real world. That being said, if you're interested in learning more about how to become a safe driver or you wanna get yourself a CDL license, give us a call, 908-525-3609 or take a virtual school tour to figure out exactly what kind of pricing that we offer and see which course best fits your needs. The link below is gonna be cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Our mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom and what's more free than driving where you wanna go safely and making money while you're doing it. So once more time, give us a call, 908-525-3609 or click on the link below and take, out, take a look at our virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks and I hope to see you in person one day. Have a great day.